Hi, this is Rebecca from Cardinal Designs, and today I'm gonna to show off the stage for 6106 North Lynn Street. It's an old Seminole Heights. It's right down the road from like the front porch, the sea house, all of those popular places. So if you're looking for a new, a brand new, basically a brand new house, this is one. It's a four, two and a half, and it's five, it's listed for 525,000. So um, get ready, I'm just gonna give you a little tour and give you a walk and talk about what we did in here. So um, it's not really a bungalow, so we didn't, we didn't go with that theme. This would be more of a contemporary type of stage and we used the family room and the dining room are very open. So what we did is we had to define the spaces. So we used this huge um, sectional that actually is great because it comes apart. And so you can create separate seating. And then we've got, you know, the sectional right there. And it's gray and white, which is totally on trend. And we used huge artwork to make the space look bigger. This is our original um, Cardinal Designs Picasso piece right here. And um, this is just an awesome old typewriter that we loved. We like the feel that it gives for the room. Okay, as I mentioned, it's an open floor plan, so we really had to define the spaces. As you can tell, there's no living, I mean, there's no dining room light. So we just decided to combine the living room and the dining room. So, and what's great about this is you can have a bench, um, which is a, that's a space saver if you have a bench. So then you can, you can even put um, chairs right here on the end. So you can easily have eight people in here. So it's great for Thanksgiving. So this is the open island of a kitchen. And as you can tell, it's huge. It's great for entertaining. You've got um, these awesome beams and the pendant lights right here. And this is quartz. And then you can't see on the backside, but this is actually really functional. And the microwave is tucked right back in here. And then you've got these awesome drawers that open up too. So you've got plenty of storage if you've got a huge family. Um, so you've got all of these. Plus you've got, um, you've got the open shelves, which are really on trend too. And then you've got this fancy schmancy pot holder, I mean pot um, filler right here. And this beautiful tile inlay right there, which is totally on trend too, the cement tile look. So a lot of people ask, like, what do you do with the hallway? We're coming off the kitchen and we're going into the back of the house. And so um, a lot of times we'll use a console table, which I think this is actually a nice little mid-century bookshelf right here. And we put some little knickknacks up here. And then um, to keep it a little modern, we, um, we chose gold tones and we did abstract pieces. Um, which make a statement in themselves. So you've got these little gold disc thingies and then you've got, I don't know what you call this, but it's just, it's really cool. It's geometric. It feels contemporary, which it goes along with what we did in the living room. So this little area is kind of unique because it's just a little cutout area, perfect for a home office. Um, and you don't have to waste a whole entire room. It was already just built in here. And what's great about it is it's right across from the bathroom. So with COVID and everybody working from home, this is a perfect um, in-home office right here. And you have enough room for like a bookshelf right here. So plenty of space. So as you can tell, this is like a little reading area. And this is, um, right now I'm in the master bedroom and we always love to stage with props. So I've got the book um, that goes in another area, which I'll show you. But this is a massively huge room. Um, it is, it's big enough for a king size bed. It's big enough for two dressers, a couple of seat seating areas. And the, the closet is like another room in itself. You've got a, um, a bathtub and a stand-up shower in the bathroom, which I'm going to give you a grand tour. If you're into like a, a huge, nice master ensuite, this is your house. So get ready because you're in for a treat. So um, yeah, I just want to call attention this wall right here um, where we've got the stand-up mirror. That could be an area where we put a... Um, 
you could put like the another dresser maybe for the woman or the man of the house because we have another dresser over here and then we've got the another sitting area which the book i'll put him back he goes right here and um which this leads into the incredible bathroom but first i'm going to call attention the the ceiling is huge it's law it's vaulted and um the homeowner who was slipping this intentionally rose it up so it would it would it would uh, feel like really grand so it's just a nice little appreciation so we used a huge headboard which is tufted and it goes really well in here So right here, we're in this, I would say it's probably like 80 square feet, 90 square feet of a closet. And um, the homeowner did not go cheap on this. He's got nice wood shelves and nice wood racking. And then you also have um, attic access right there. And um, what's great is it leads right into your bathroom, um, which is nice because you just, you know, out of the shower, you go straight into your closet. So it's great. And there's enough room for the man and the woman to put their stuff in here. I just want to point that out because a lot of um, closet space and Seminole Heights, you don't get this. Bonus, 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 bonus. The shower is great because, well, it's pretty, it's pretty large and it also has these incredible penny tiles, which are very um, date appropriate. They're from the 1920s, but they feel really cool on your feet. And you've got a double shower head, which is also a nice feature. And you've got the built-in little niche. And then over here, you've got the double vanity, which of course is a necessity for a nice ensuite. So everybody's got their separate um, areas to get ready. And then you've got this incredible um, soaker tub that is in front of a window. So you get natural sunlight, which will be great for soaking. And, um, and then you've got a built-in linen closet.